So hi everyone, it's uh, Adam here again from Alto Hearing. We're back today to bring you another earwax removal, this time from our clinic in Lutterworth, Leicestershire, with our clinician Maria. So we've got a couple in today's video for you, just one um, that's a, a big blockage that needed a bit of patience, it's fair to say. And the second one is a bit of a skin peel, so a bit of variety for you today. Um, just a quick one. I, look, sometimes we get comments saying y you didn't remove all of the wax and you left some and I just wanted to address that quickly as sometimes clients can say the same thing when watching it in Good. clinic as well. So when we're doing these procedures, people have come in with an issue, normally something to do with their hearing, feeling blocked up. Um, and as I said to someone yesterday, th this isn't performative. We're not power washing a patio. The goal isn't to get the ear completely sparkling clean. I earwax in itself is not a bad thing. So it actually helps protect the ear canal. And whilst we'll try and clear out as much as we can, the clinician is always taking stock of the situation. They're communicating with the person, knowing when it's getting a bit too much and then evaluating the risk of continuing versus stopping the procedure and then making a call on when is the best time to leave it. So if you're watching these sort of videos, I appreciate it's really nice to see a completely clear ear canal, but if it isn't, then don't worry, it's not an issue.
Oh, sorry. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks as always for watching and checking out our content. If you'd like to see more, then do please subscribe to our channel and give the video a like and we'll see you next time.